Okay, guys, so today we are talking about the Swiss chard. Yes, um, this Swiss chard, Swiss chard was planted in April 2019, and we are in 8th of July 2020. Swiss chard is uh, it's a plant that is resistant to winter, so because of this, is developing the seeds. I actually did not prune this Swiss chard because I want to have the seeds. We have every color of seeds in the garden. We have yellows, we have reds, we have green, yellow, yeah. And then I am uh, trying to develop seeds to don't have to buy it. Yeah. Because when we buy the seeds, first of all, they are a bit expensive if they are organic and second they can mix it you don't it's very i mean it's very difficult to find only yellow swiss chard seeds they can mix it so once you put them in the soil you don't know what you're gonna get so what i want to do is uh separate the seeds have yellow seeds red seeds to plant them as I want to, yeah. So, and I sh actually don't have to buy the seeds again. So this is the reason it's not beautiful, this one, because it's more than a year and without pruning. Yeah. This Swiss chard was planted in a kind of raised bed. Yeah, so I lifted the raised bed above the level of the soil because uh, I didn't want the grass under the Swiss chard to die. So we still have glass, glass under, we have dandelions, we have uh, good uh, weeds that are possible to make uh, tea in the garden that I didn't want them to die. Yeah, so this is the way it is. I am... Uh, transplanting them today because I'm gonna use this place here to plant some uh, broccoli yes yes as you guys can see I'm gonna put the broccolis there so the broccoli here we are gonna consume it's another kind of uh, vegetable that goes through the winter and it com comes back in the summer yeah so it's very easy if you want to tra transplant as well you just come down here yeah. it's going out oh Let's see. Uh, we don't want to. Yeah, see? It's very good, Swiss chard. Yeah, I'm gonna transplant him in another place and just leave it there for like, I think it's like two months more, and then the seeds will be ready. Yeah. There are some uh, pines here. I put it last year as well uh, to retain the humidity in the soil yeah. so this is it this is our swiss hard seeds yes very easy just thank you very much subscribe to our channel bye bye